Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to the Keep It Techie channel where I help folks work in the tech, master Linux and level up their skills. And today we got to talk about something a little different, but super exciting. So PewDiePie just dropped a video where he literally roast his Windows setup and also calls Mac questionable and then says the magic words install Linux. And I'm like, bro, what is going on now? I ain't going to lie. When I saw that, I thought, OK, this could be huge or it could be a mess. So today I want to break it down. What does it mean when one of the biggest YouTubers tells millions of people to switch to Linux? Is it a win for open source? Is it the beginning of the end? Or maybe it's just hilarious. Let's talk about it. Now, look, PewDiePie isn't just any creator. We're talking about a dude with over 110 million subscribers. I mean, that's literally a whole nation of people watch. And when someone with that kind of reach says install Linux, it will get people curious. And with tools like Steam Deck, Proton, Lutris and native Linux games blowing up, it kind of makes sense. He even said something like, I'm not a tech guy and yet he's jumping into Linux. And so that tells regular users, hey, maybe it's not as hard as I thought. This could be the moment where the idea of Linux crosses over into the mainstream, like not just the nerds, not just us home lab folks, but gamers, students, even casual users, because more awareness equals more users. The more users equals more community growth. And if even 1% of his audience gets curious enough to try it, that's still over a million people. And so that's crazy impact. Now, let me just say it. I love seeing Linux get this kind of spotlight. And for the record, PewDiePie wasn't wrong. Linux can save your system from being a blob. And yeah, Linux has come a long way. If you're gaming, you got Steam with Proton. If you're editing videos, DaVinci Resolve now runs native. If you want a clean, fast desktop, then try Pop! OS or Fedora or even Nobora, which is literally optimized for gaming. Plus, this kind of exposure helps open source projects get love because more eyes on Linux means more donations, more contributions, more tutorials and just more energy in the ecosystem. And honestly, for the younger crowd watching PewDiePie, it might plant a seed. Maybe I want to learn this or maybe I want to go into IT because that's how a lot of us got started as well. OK, but let's keep it real. There are some drawbacks when someone that massive tells everyone to install Linux. First off, not everyone's going to have a good time. Like, for instance, you try a game on Linux without knowing about Proton or Wine or let's say you install Arch and expect it to just work. Or don't let me get into those NVIDIA drivers and let's say they throw a fit because I know a lot of people that have left Linux basically saying Linux is trash and just go back to Windows because they couldn't get their NVIDIA core to work in Linux. Now, also, there is a danger in oversimplifying the Linux experience. PewDiePie made it look like you just snap your fingers and you're in Linux heaven. But if you don't know how to dual boot, manage your partitions or troubleshoot, let's say a broken update, then Linux can humble you real quick. And let's be honest, the Linux community, sometimes it can be a little intense when people ask beginner questions. Like we've all seen that comment, RTFM, read the effing manual. So while I love the idea of more people coming in, we got to make sure they don't get scared off or worse, leave thinking Linux isn't ready when really they just needed a guy. <laughs> That's what my channel's for. Now, y'all know I love Linux. This channel wouldn't exist if it didn't. But hearing PewDiePie talk about it honestly brought me back. I remember when I first started distro hopping like crazy, breaking my system every other day, learning the terminal one command at a time. It wasn't easy, but it made me better. And that's what I want to say to anyone coming from his video. Don't give up after the first crash. Linux rewards patience and curiosity. You don't need to be a tech wizard. You just need to be willing to learn. And that's why I built this channel. And also, that's why I made a free Linux Plus course to give folks like you a map. 
So yeah, shout out to PewDiePie. That was unexpected, but honestly, pretty dope. Now, could this actually store something? I think so. We already saw Linus Tech Tips dip into Linux a couple times. Mr. Beast is out here doing crazy stuff. But what if he picked it up next? The truth is, Linux doesn't have to be scary. And the more creators who say, yeah, I use Linux, is awesome, the more normal it becomes. I mean, imagine a world where kids grow up learning Bash before Excel. And also where high school teaches Fedora instead of Chromebook lock-ins. And where Linux laptops are just default. We're not there yet but every push counts. And if you ask me, this push from PewDiePie might be bigger than we think. All right, guys, I wanna hear from you. Did you come to Linux because of PewDiePie's video? Or are you thinking about switching? Or are you a OG Linux user watching this whole thing like, ah, here we go again. Drop a comment down below and let's talk about it. If you're new here, check out my intro to Linux video or hit up my free Linux Plus course if you want to learn a little bit more, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with someone who might be curious about Linux, but doesn't know where to start. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh. This is Keep It Techie, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech. Bye.